You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Megan Knight with your WMAR 2 News update. An investigation is underway into a triple murder and attempted suicide. Police in Howard County were called to a home on Norwood Ferry in Elkridge around 10 o'clock last night after neighbors say they heard gunshots. Now officers found the bodies of three women, two men who have been injured and a young person who was not hurt. Police say one of the men is now believed to be a suspect. They were both rushed to the hospital with life threatening injuries. Expect to see a heavier police presence at Towson Town Center after a man was stabbed there in a parking garage. Baltimore County Police say they've identified persons of interest and are now working to figure out their roles in the crime. A group of juveniles tried to rob a man in the mall Wednesday night, then followed him to the parking garage and stabbed him. He is expected to be okay. Today is the deadline for people to submit claims in the bankruptcy case involving the Archdiocese of Baltimore. They filed for bankruptcy last year, two days before the state's Child Victims Act took effect. It allows victims of child sex abuse to sue their alleged perpetrator without any statute of limitations. So far, about 500 people have filed claims in this bankruptcy case. Legal experts say even if survivors are not ready to re relive their experience, they should submit their basic information before the midnight deadline and then can amend it at a later time. Today is also the last day business owners impacted by the key bridge collapse can apply for assistance in person at the SBA Business Recovery Centers. Store owners can still apply on their own until the end of the year. The center at Care First in Canton closes at 4 today. The one in Dundalk will close at 2.30. An animal shelter in Baltimore needs your help after two large raids led to dozens of dogs being rescued. Animal Control seized 13 dogs from a home in Carroll Park, and a week ago they rescued more than 80 dogs from a suspected puppy mill near Pimlico. In both cases, the living conditions were described as deplorable. In all, Barks has seen 300 animals come through its doors in just a week. So if you would like to donate, be a foster or adopt, we have all that information on our website. Meanwhile, Barks is hosting a mega summer adoptathon on June 15th. The Maryland SPCA, Baltimore Humane Society, and Baltimore County Animal Services will also have pets there up for adoption. It's happening at the State Fairgrounds in Timonium. There'll be dogs, cats, and small companion pets all available. Well, we continue to see a beautiful day out there as mostly sunny skies are hanging with us. Winds out of the north northwest at eight miles an hour will keep us a bit on the drier side and not really seeing much in the way of cloud cover. Temperatures hanging around those mid 70s. And if you're headed out to Camden Yards, well, first pitch is at 705 today against the Rays looking fantastic with plenty of sunshine. Clear night to be had as we head in towards the seventh inning stretch and that'll lead to a cooler start towards our Saturday. You'll see temperatures back into the mid 50s. And you'll notice as we go in towards the rest of the weekend, we are expecting to have temperatures back into the 80s. A few clouds start to filter in for Sunday with a shower possible by the evening time frame. Then as we head in towards Monday, we'll start to see that temperatures still hanging around the 80s, but humidity creeping back up as well. Megan. All right, Caesar, thank you. And stay with WMAR2news.com for updates and stories throughout the day. And for your news and weather while you're on the go, download our app. Thanks for watching. I'm Megan Knight.